Hello again. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions recently on how to record, uh, I mean, how to embed files into your PowerPoint presentations, like for example, movies, sounds, etc. So I thought I'd make a tutorial on that. So first, hit open up PowerPoint. I'm using 2007, and um, so first, let's try out a simple sound file. So all you'd simply do is go into Insert, Sound, and Sound from File. And as simple as going to the file and selecting it. And then you can also set, uh, should it automatically play when it hits the slide or when it's clicked. Um, I'll just make it automatically. And here you have a little speaker icon. This is what the user can use to stop or, you know, uh, make the sound file play again. You can drag this outside of the PowerPoint um, slide if you don't want the people to see it or hide it somehow. Um, so you can also change the options here again if you want to make it when you click it um, you can hide it and you can also loop etc so if we preview just go into view slideshow and the music would start playing so um next one would be how to uh, embed video files. So it's basically the same. You'd go into insert, and this time you just go into movie and from file. And then you can select any movie. And then you can um, autom choose again automatically or when clicked. And then you can resize it. It keeps the aspect ratio for you by default, so that's good. So you can just drag it around, you can align it. And then you can try it out. So as you can see it plays, and by clicking on it, you pause it and uh, you know play it. And last but not last but not least, we could embed a shockwave flash file. So um, this might be this is a little bit more complicated. Uh, in order for this to work, you need to have Flash Player installed. The first step would be to go into the Office menu and go into PowerPoint Options. Then you check Show Developer tab in the ribbon. Press OK, and then you have a new tab here. This is Developer, and then you would go into this little button right here, More Controls, and then you would select the Shockwave control, which is by down by the S's and it would be shockwave flash object. Then you simply drag and uh, drag to select the size of it, where it would be. And then you right click properties to start modifying the options. For example, the movie, does it loop, does it play automatically, etc. So um, the movie, you have to give the, the either the URL of the shockwave object or the hard drive location. So this would be it. And when you're done with that, try it out. It automatically starts playing for me for some strange reason. And here you are. So you can just resize it, etc. Well, I hope this helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Hopefully I'll make another video. And that's all.